letting go of stuff you don't need in your life can be difficult. To let go of stuff that you are using, that may not be serving you well can almost be impossible. I will show you why this can be a problem and how you should overcome it. Have you ever lost a part-time job or lost a problem customer at your job or business? Yeah, losing the income may hurt a little bit less stress in your life, as a result, ends up being an unforeseen plus. Sometimes we get tunnel vision and just continue doing things the way we have always done it. We need to take the time period to check our processes. Living simple minimalist quality of life is very important to me. There are things in your life that are not serving you well. Yeah, they serve a purpose but are not serving you. Letting go of these things will serve you better. Letting go stuff and accept your mistakes decluttering has become a very popular method used to begin simplifying life. Sometimes we forget to declutter stuff we use regularly. There are times we keep stuff around just because we believe it has monetary value. A lot of the time this stuff causes extra work or stress in our lives. Like that new car, you purchased last year. You loved it when you first got it. It is a tool you use to travel the exact same way as the old one did. But now you have a bill, that is due every month. Did I mention the bill is due every month? Not to mention the higher insurance rates. This can be an extra burden without adding much value to your life. You may even begin to not like the new car so much. Don't just suffer day in and day out. Admit you made a mistake and do something about it. What about that high-end purse you purchased? You enjoyed it when you first got it. Now you look at that charge on your credit card bill and you feel that it may not have been worth it. You feel guilty because you could have purchased something for the family to enjoy. You have only used it twice and it has already lost its appeal. Admit it was a mistake and do something about it. What about the time you took over a room in your home dedicated to practicing your newfound hobby? This has rendered the room inaccessible to the rest of the family. You abandoned the hobby a long time ago. That space in your home is now wasted because you are too embarrassed to admit your partner was right about your interest being a fad. Admit you made a mistake and do something about it. Letting go can be good for your well-being. Letting go stuff can be just that simple. Just put the guilt and anxiety in the past, move on and enjoy the precious time you have on this pale blue dot, as Carl Sagan would say. Try letting go of perfectly good stuff to add more value in your life The examples above can be perfectly good life choices but can also feel like mistakes as time goes on. Sometimes our perfectly good choices can sap time, energy, and happiness from our lives without adding much value. That is when quickly letting go can become the remedy. Letting go stuff should be the default in those situations. Purchasing a new car is great but if you have to work extra hard to afford it maybe not. If the new car causes you to curtail family outings or scrap your family vacation due to the cost it may be a mistake to own. Also sometimes a new car can draw unwanted attention. Like attracting the opposite sex that can put a strain on your current relationship or attracting criminals that add constant stress in your life. Just get rid of the car to increase your quality of life. Just let it go. Spend the time and extra money on more family outings. Forgo the extra stress and park your older car anywhere in the parking lot and not at crazy annoying angles in the hope of protecting it from scratches as many stressed out people do. Don't you hate that? Hoping you are not that person. More importantly, there are items you rarely use that take up time and space in your life. This stuff sometimes takes the form of commitments we have made. When this stuff does not add value to your life it is okay to cut it. Why do we hold on to stuff like those useless timeshare nightmares so long? We hesitate to cut obvious burdens in our life because we believe they have a monetary value. That should not be the determining factor. Just because that item of clothing, power tool, other expensive toy or membership has a perceived value you must keep it. Even when you never use those items. You believe they are too expensive to give away and you may be somewhat embarrassed to offer them for sale. 
don't sentence yourself to live a life owned by stuff for stupid reasons. Get rid of stuff you don't love or add value to your life and be free. Letting go stuff can be just that simple. Some of this stuff can find a better home where it would be loved, used, and add value to lives. Some young people would love and use that old car you have in the garage. You know someone would love and use the exercise equipment you hang your clothes on and bump into every day. Forget the monetary loss and embrace the freedom from maintaining, storing, and thinking about that stuff. On the other hand, selling stuff can be a better option. Don't worry about what others may think. Letting go stuff is the answer. Yeah, that timeshare was a bad decision or that rock climbing gear was never used. So what? Get rid of them both and use the money to create more memories. Some will bring joy and others will ultimately be viewed as mistakes. Learn to quickly discard the stuff that does not add value to your life and you will live a life free of those unnecessary burdens. Thank you for stopping by. Click like and bang on that subscribe button. Please visit the description to get even more life-changing information.